when I began working in a bank, I must say that's when I really, really got more connected to my femininity. And I know that might sound strange, but I'll let you know the reason why and how. But first, like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. When I began working at the bank back in 20, 2009, I worked at my first bank. It was a very different environment than where I was coming from. I mainly worked in the retail telemarketing type of environment. I was always working with my hands, unloading, loading trucks, you know, making cold calls, doing all these different kind of things. But when I got into banking, that was more of a glamorous job. That was more of a womanly, you know, a coming up in the world kind of job. And I say that to say that when you are in your femininity, you have that fabulous, you know, pretty, you know, that girly girl type of way about you. And being in the bank gave me the opportunity to really express that. So the way it encouraged my femininity, number one, is that I was able to actually dress up for my job. No more uniforms, no more just tying my hair back or having braids. I was actually able to go to work with beautiful dress clothes, wear heels, pretty hairdos, you know, do makeup, have pretty purses, and sit down. And that kind of career for me, it really, really thrusted me into my femininity because I was able to experience the things that I couldn't working in a retail environment. There was no way I could always wear my hair, you know, in pretty little styles and definitely couldn't wear heels, had to wear a uniform. You know, I had to be more like in the masculine all the time. I had to be more ready to go just in case something popped off all the time. And of course, working in a bank doesn't come without issues because of the obvious one that I will not say but at least you have security and you feel more protected and it's an environment where it's cool you know there's always snacks in the office there's different little you know functions potlucks and all these different kind of things happening so it was more of a relaxing you know feminine woman type of environment so working in the bank for that reason really was my vibe and helped me to lay back more into my femininity I remember during my breaks at the second bank I worked at, I would go to the little shopping center we had up the street and, you know, there was a nail salon. I would go and get my nails done on my lunch break and, you know, do a little shopping and then go to the bookstore. It was just absolutely fabulous. So working at a bank as a feminine woman, you know, being in that environment where money is involved, which is the second way it absolutely encouraged my femininity because I was a personal banker. So I had more of an um, inside role on operating, you know, um, helping people to build up their savings, build up their money, open different accounts, you know, different loan accounts and, you know, connecting with financial officers and mortgage brokers and all these different kind of people. And in doing that, I was looking at their accounts and I got exposed to people who had hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars in their accounts. If that doesn't encourage you to level up, I don't know what will. And as a feminine woman, as a woman who is coming from a retail environment, suddenly being in this environment where people have more status, they have more wealth, um, they're managing their wealth, being around so much knowledge that will help me not only in my career, but personally, of course, that, that encouraged me as a feminine woman and that gave me confidence to say that if they can do it, I can do it too. If they can move through the ranks in this way and build this type of a career, and that's what I wanted at the time, it was encouraging to me. And then to see the customers who actually have this kind of money and hear what they do for a living because I had to get you know their income information, that was encouraging to me. It was a lot of networking and seeing other women who were, you know, business owners and, you know, are married to wealthy people, you know, wealthy men or had their own business or had family businesses. That helped encourage me as a woman because I was in an environment seeing people doing something that I was not accustomed to seeing. I was not accustomed to seeing people with hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars in their account and then being able to see how they did it or have those conversations. So the second way, the way it influenced my femininity is that I was able to talk to people who were in positions that 
I want to be in and wanted to be in at the time. And that motivated me as a woman to keep myself together, to get educated, and not just in going to college, but doing more research on the internet, take more opportunities to network and pick the brain of the people who are in contact with. You don't always have to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on education. If you know people or you have the opportunity to come in contact with people, you know, if they allow you, glean knowledge from them, learn how they did it, or at least you see their address profile. I would see their address and I would see where they live in the different areas. And on my personal time, I'm going to do a little Google search to see that type of area and what the houses look like out there. It was very encouraging and motivating for me. And once again, it helped me to lean into that gentle, more softer, feminine woman side of myself because these are now things that I can do that don't require a lot of hard work from me. It's more of a mental you know, intellectual kind of building up that I needed to be that type of level up feminine woman that I desired to be at the time. So that influence of seeing other people doing the things that I wanted to do and having the, the a massive amount of wealth that they had, absolutely that encouraged me. And while we do not worship money, we do not worship status, but as a feminine woman and as a woman who just wants to have a you know different kind of lifestyle, there's nothing wrong with being encouraged and influenced by what somebody else is doing. Um, you can use what they do and make it your own. And seeing people with hundreds of thousands of dollars in the bank, oh yes, that's my thing. That encouraged me to develop that and make that a part of my feminine repertoire, so to speak. And then also being around other people who were in powerful positions. So when I would see different celebrities, they would come into the bank. I would see, you know, and I don't glorify celebrities because they have their issues about them. But seeing some celebrities or seeing bank CEOs, seeing CEOs of other companies and seeing chief financial officers doing different things. And they taught me a lot about you know, their role in the bank. And they taught me what they were doing before that and what it took to get to that level. While I no longer desire to be in the banking industry, a lot of what I learned being in banking, I can put that over and use it in my own business endeavors that I am doing now within the digital media space, digital marketing, content creation. I am using all of that to build up the lifestyle that I now have and in the direction that it's going now, I use all of what I learned to help me become that feminine, leveled up, leveled up mindset type of woman. So when it comes to having a feminine lifestyle and being more as a feminine, leveled up kind of woman, you have to take, and I give you the bank experience because you really have to take all of your experience and even when you're an employee, if you're in a career environment, if you are in a work environment where people are doing great things or things that you desire to do, that's going to help you in your personal life, take that knowledge and apply it to your life. Being able to be in a work environment where people were dressed up and had money and had influence, that encouraged me, that inspired me, that let me know that if they could do it, I could do it too. And on the spiritual side, God is no respecter of persons. So if he will allow them to do it, he will allow me to achieve it as well. And when I understood that, I stopped being jealous and envious and saying, oh, these people think they're this. And I started taking what they're doing and implementing it into my own life, into my own mindset and how I conduct business and how I carry myself as a woman. I'm no longer at the bank, but I still like to dress up. I still like a more laid back environment. I know how to manage my money better because of that almost 10 years experience I had working in banking. I know the different things to look out for when it comes to looking for different you know, financial opportunities. I know the type of people I need to get in contact with if I want to do certain things. And having a more leveled up feminine lifestyle is not just about looking a certain way. You should have connections and opportunities that match with the type of woman you are becoming. So being in a different environment, working in the bank, it was absolutely beneficial for me. It had its challenges, 
but those are the things that I took with me and it truly did help me to lean into my femininity and become more of that leveled up type of woman and I'm still growing and I'm growing in every way spiritually mentally physically as women we are always growing evolving and allowing God most importantly to change us and taking advantage of every opportunity that we have available to us to make us more leveled up intellectual and wise feminine women all right like and subscribe to the channel and share this content hit the notification bell so that you're aware when i post a brand new video if you watch this video until the very end put the high hill emoji in the comment section i absolutely appreciate you take care